just me. Angel? Gummy? Okay, this is officially beyond weird now and move right on down to Freaky Town. Our pets were bothering you. Say you're sorry, Opal. She's sorry. What are you all doing out here? Well, we always round up our critters for a regular old pony pet play date in this park. Uh, you do? Same time every week. I thought you knew. You didn't know? But she didn't know? Well, we had initially planned on inviting Rainbow, of course, except... We were totally gonna invite you, Rainbow. Then Twilight remembered that you don't even have a pet. And we already remembered that you really like taking naps in the afternoon. So half of that beard, you wouldn't be missing out on anything anyway. And Fluttershy and I nodded our heads in agreement like this. Oh, please don't be mad at us. Oh, I'm not mad. You all are right. Not much point of a pony pet play date for me if I'm a pony without a pet, right? Exactly. So, if and you'll excuse us. Hey! Now, wait a minute. Just because I don't have a pet now doesn't mean I never want a pet. Oh, oh really? You really want a pet? Really? Because I've got so many wonderful choices at my house. Oh, and I know you'll just love them. And they'll love you. Oh, and you'll be best friends forever. my delight. It's abundantly clear that somewhere out here is a pet that will suit you just right. I can't wait to get started, but first let me set a few rules. It's of utmost importance the pet that I get is something that's awesome and cool. Awesome, cool, got it. I have so many wonderful choices, just wait you will see. I need something real fast like a bullet to keep up with me. Sure, how about a bunny? They're cutesy and wootsy and quick as can be. Cutesy, wootsy, have you even met me? Rainbow have faith. You see, I will bet you. Somewhere in here is a pet that will get you. Come on, the sky's the limit. Sky is good. I'd like it to fly. Really? Because I think this little pretty tad has your name written all over it. Yes, he does. Oh, look, he likes you. Pass. I have so many wonderful choices for you to decide. There are otters and seals with massive appeal. Otters and seals do not fly. Maybe not, but I've seen this particular seal catch 10 feet of air when he breaches the water. <laughs> That's it. I'm out of here. Wait, there must be a pet here that will fit the ticket. How about a ladybug or a cute cricket? Bigger and cooler. Bigger, cooler, right. I've got just the thing in that tree dash. Meet your new fabulous pet. Just a squirrel. Not just any squirrel, a flying squirrel. Yeah, so like I was saying, Fluttershy pal, this won't cut it. I need a pet to keep up with me. Something awesome, something flying, with coolness that defies gravity. I'm sensing you want an animal that can fly. You think? I have plenty of wonderful creatures who soar in the sky. Like a sweet hummingbird or a giant monarch butterfly. Better, but cooler. I see. How about an owl or a wasp or a toucan? There's so many wonderful 
purple creatures alike said that There were falcons and eagles They are both quite regal Perhaps what you need is a dark and mysterious bat Now you're talking! But instead of just one standout, now that's too many So many choices and such riches a plenty. Not a bad problem to have if you ask me the bat would be awesome, but the wasp I'm digging to have something in a yellow striped bat. No, I've got a hot pink flamingo just dying to meet you. What to do? What to do? <gasps> a prize! That's it! There's really just one way to find out which animal's best. Hold a contest of speed, agility, and guts that will put each pet. Sure, who's best of the litter? The one was awesome as cool, just like me. Can't settle for less, cause I'm the best. So a contest we will see. Who's the number one greatest, perfectest pet in the world for me? May the games begin. And may the best pet win. to be my pet, do ya? Well, we'll just see about that. If any of you don't think you can handle it, bow out now before you humiliate yourself in front of your peers. This competition isn't for the weak. You'd better be prepared to step up your game. You call that flapping? That's better. There's only room on Team Dash for one of you, and my future pet needs to be able to take it to the extreme. Any questions? I got one. Does she understand what a pet really needs? Yeah, like care and attention, love and affection. Ah, uh, and breath mints. Now you just pay attention and try your best and... Seriously, Fluttershy? The turtle? What did you bring that thing here for? Technically, he's a tortoise, and he's always dreamed of being some pony's pet. He just wants a chance to compete, and he won't get in the way. You won't even know he's here. No! Oh, just let him try. But there's no way he can possibly keep up. Look at him. It won't hurt to let him try. But just let him try. <sighs> yeah, fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. This isn't a game, you know. All right. Now these games will determine which one of you has the most important qualities I'm looking for in a pet. Speed. Agility. Guts. Think that Twilight, and that's why you would never qualify to be my pet. Speed on your marks, get set. Sort of speedy, not speedy, pretty speedy, could be more speedy. Just sad. Agility. Sort of agile. Not agile. Pretty agile. Could be more agile. Want to know the opposite of agility? That. <laughs> Call agility. Don't leave me hanging. I'm gonna have to shave a point off your score for that. Okay, which of you has the guts to try and get Opal's favorite toy away from her?
gotta look good, cause you've gotta make me look good. Coolness. <laughs> Sorta of cool. Not cool. Pretty cool. Could be cooler. Not what I had in mind. I can't hear you! <laughs> now that's a cool sound! Sorta of awesome? Not awesome. Could be more awesome. Oh yeah, that is awesome! Uh, you did that already. That's pretty much all you can do, huh? Competition, so I'm gonna have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me, through Ghastly Gorge! Dun dun dun! Kazoo Knight. <sighs> Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go!
happening. Forever is way too long to be trapped in gas and gorge. I mean, it's like forever. Somebody, anybody, help me! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no! Now I'm not only gonna be stuck here forever, I'm gonna be stuck here forever with the most annoying turtle in the world! I'm doomed, doomed, I tell you! Right here. Where's Rainbow Dash? Great galloping galoshes. There's been an avalanche in there. Rainbow! Look! It's the turtle! Tortoise! Whatever. And he's carrying something on his back. Oh, it's Rainbow Dash! It's her! It's Rainbow! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Ray? Where? Maybe we'd better go meet him halfway. Guy. Oh, thank goodness you're not hurt, Rainbow. Just my pride. I certainly hope all of this dreadful dust was worth it. <laughs> it sure was, if it means Rainbow gets to have her own little critter just like the rest of us from now on. Uh, thanks. What you did, I owe you one. Rainbow, your new pet is over here waiting for you. Right. Yeah. That. Mm, what's the matter? You got your perfect pet, right? The best of the best like you wanted, remember? It can fly and it's not a squirrel. Should we sing about it again? A falcon sure looks good on you, Rainbow. <laughs> Easy, fella. Nothing to be afraid of. The falcon sure does look cool. He's absolutely everything I wanted in a pet. <sighs> Yay? But I said whoever crosses the finish line with me gets to be my pet. You did! You did say that! She did say that! That was the rule! And the only racer who crossed the finish line with me was the one who stopped to save me when I needed help. The tortoise! <laughs> but what about the... Would you look at that? He even smiles slow. Spike, take a letter. Dear Princess Celestia, I used to think that the most important traits to look for in a pet or any best friend were all physical competitive abilities. But now I can see how short-sighted and shallow that was. Today I learned what the most important quality really is. A certain kind of spirit, a stick to it in this. a never give up, can do attitude that's the mark of a real winner. And this tortoise has it. Tenacity. Gazunite, you just can't stop that little guy. He's like a. like a. tank. But Rainbow, you didn't want a pet that couldn't fly because it would keep you grounded and hold you back, remember? Hmm. Come on, Tank. We're going to be late for our very first Pony Pet Play Day. This holiday season, the Hub invites you on a magical mission. Wow! 
of moose-like proportions. <laughs> Join Holly and Hal. Come on, let's go. Add a little Christmas magic and go on the adventure of a lifetime. Nothing can Moose, our uplifting Christmas adventure. Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, only on The Hub.